Hello. Today, gonna be looking at this camera thing. It's like, it's meant to be a 4K camera, or a vlogging camera with a flippy screen, so you can take vlogs. This is what we're gonna be looking at today on Tech Talk Tribe. And hope you guys enjoy. So, on the label here, it says that it's meant to be 4K, 4K camera, and um, it has a flippy out screen so you can do vlogs. So, let's see what it looks like on startup. It says welcome, and then it brings us to a shooting screen. Nice. So, hey, it's kind of dead, so we only have a limited time, but who cares? This is what, say hello to yourself. Anyway, it's playing a lot of different modes. Let's see. Um, let's see. So, there is the video mode. Video mode. There is... Oh, video playback. Then there is setup. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go into setup. And I'm actually gonna pop the SD card out. And I'm gonna go pop a new one in because it has some stuff on it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the camera. Let me zoom out. Camera. An SD card, that's for later. So, camera and SD card. So supposedly if this is a vlogging camera, we're gonna be taking a lot of camera footage of it, right? Let's see how easy it is to remove the SD card. So since I have no nails, I like using the edge of the SD card. It's probably not good for them, but easy. That's the SD card that came with it. But we're gonna stick this old SanDisk card in it for right now. Because that doesn't have videos because I was using this card for really personal. So I actually use this. Now that we've fixed the SD card issue, let's turn it back on. And let's see. So this is how it looks from the front and from the side. Actually let's talk about port stuff because it has this little top piece. <coughs> I have 3D printed some attachments to like put flashlights and stuff on there. But yeah, there is some. I'm gonna turn this off because it might be big noises. So there is mini HDMI, micro USB, and three and a half millimeter microphone jack, which is kind of unusual but pretty convenient. Because when you're recording something that well, takes audio, like for instance, I have an attachment that I can stick my phone up on here and I have it like saying stuff through there. I stick it through the microphone jack in there and it works really well. So the microphone jack's a nice have. Also has this. This is the like the flash holder thing that you use when you're taking pictures to make it a nicer flash. Now let's check out some of the abilities on this camera because there are some pretty cool stuff on this. Let's see. So we have the pictures. Might not come across well on camera because this, this is pretty low res. Oh, there we go, it's a little better. So we have camera mode. I have it turned on the high ISO because I was using it in the dark, which is pretty okay. Let's see. I'm gonna stick it on auto. There. So it detects, I guess it detects hand movement. That's hand detection. That's hand detection. So like when I go like that, it starts it. Or like wave. Hello? working hello that's kind of trash well it's probably because it's not using it in the right environment okay so oh, it's actually really horrible oh, this camera the screen is the best okay there is Flash, so you can use the flash timing and all sorts of other things that I don't really understand because I'm not really a camera guy. Don't ask. Um, 
So here is this menu. This is the um, record menu. I press the menu button. It brings us to a whole bunch of different stuff. Like this is movie size or resolution. There's 4K, goes down to VGA. I keep it on standard, full HD, cause why not? Um, let's see what else is on here. So if I go into here, back again, I can go into this mode. And this mode's really cool because there's a normal mode, motion detection, time-lapse recording, time-lapse photo. I don't get time-lapse photo, but we're gonna test that out later. And slow motion. Slow motion's pretty good-ish, so we might test that out in a second. And there's also playback. There's no images on this SD card. And um, there is default power save beep and language. It also has a frequency. I'm in America, so we keep it at 60 hertz. But I'm going to show you some photos on this camera. Pictures of this frog. There's two different colors and it reflects off the lighting so we can see how good reflections are and like how it color balances because these are orange lights. They're not bright white lights because I don't have any ring lights. So this is coming off as more of like a lighter purple, but it's like a dark, nice dark purple. Oh yeah, also, I forgot to tell you guys, I'll keep that off set. Um, there, you can do, f this might seem like kind of like a niche thing, but you can record while well, the flash is turned on because I think the flash is just a couple LEDs. Yeah, it's like an LED. So I'm going to test those things out right now. So, I'm going to show those on screen in a moment. So, the image quality seems to be a little washed out. Those greens on the sides are more look, meant to look like a darker, kind of sort of green way. That's kind of okay. And, yeah. Yo, listen to the shutter sound. So, I'm taking a picture of the frogs right now for the photo test and listen. It's a goofy looking shutter sound. Okay. I'm gonna get back to the photo angle. So also, on this next picture, um, we have the both sides showing this time. And the purple is a little darker than it was previously, so I guess it looks a little bit better. But overall, it's pretty good. And this is the photo quality on the 4K camera that has no brand on it. This is my frog, his name is Pistachio, and he's gonna be my subject. And Here's him compared to an SD card, he's pretty big. And then, just for fast moving objects. Catches those pretty good, maybe. Yeah, right? Hope that comes out good. But yeah, I hope the audio quality is pretty good too. I have no microphone plugged into this. And it's recording at 1080p, all automatic stuff. I hope that, I hope that video came out and the photos came out good because I didn't actually see them yet, so I hope they came out pretty okay. And yeah, so we got to test out some other things, like time-lapse video. So first things first, let's see how the playback quality is. So we're going to go into the video I just took, and we're going to press the shutter button for playing. Okay, so the microphone isn't really the greatest on this, but what do you expect? I don't even know how much this thing cost, but I recommend, because it's so easy, to, hey, 
use a nice microphone, uh, like a lavalier or something, that it's easy enough to do it, right? Camera, it's pretty okay. Let's take a look at the markings here. It says powerful, this is 16x powerful zoom, and it has autofocus lens with those numbers, and UV, and that must be the diameter from here to here. You can actually test that. Let's see. My, this is in millimeters, right? So probably from here to here. Thirty-five. Okay, this is pretty close. They weren't lying. That's kind of them. So, pretty good. Now, we're gonna need to try time lapse. And as you saw in the video, this 3D printed OTF knife. It's pretty fast because it's like probably like half this half a second at least. Let's test out the slow motion capabilities. Menu. It's kind of clunky to operate, but let's see. Motion detection is kind of iffy, so we're not really going to test that. But slow motion, and let's see how the recording comes out. So I'm going to do this while I'm recording my other thing, and then I'll show you after this. Okay. Okay. So it might not look good on the screen because screen recording a screen isn't really the best sometimes. So... First of all, it's kind of hard to click the right button. There. So here is slow motion. Now here is the actual. I feel like the slow motion is pretty okay. So I'm going to because recording a screen, like I said earlier, is not really the best. I'm gonna show the video in a moment after this segment, but now we're gonna need to test out time-lapse video. But I don't really know how to test that out, considering that I have nothing that slowly moves around here. But, hmm, I wonder. Well, I guess we're not gonna be able to get to that today. Maybe I will post a YouTube short of a time-lapse video by this camera and I think that will come up pretty cool well um, I'm probably gonna show some some of the photos that I took at the end and the parts that I need to put them at and yeah oh I, I almost forgot about this I don't have all the stuff that this came with but so yeah, by the way, it says bye-bye. But I don't have all the stuff that came with this, but I do remember what was in it. So it came with micro USB cable, battery cradle and charger, and this SD card and a low carrying pouch and a lens dust cover, which is, I don't know where that went, but I use this a lot. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it, of course, because if you didn't enjoy it, why'd you watch all the way through? And, um, yeah, thank you for watching Tech Talk Tribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the slow motion footage. That actually looks pretty good. So, this is in the slow motion on my camera. It's pretty slow, considering that that takes around half a Mississippi to order to open and close and yeah um the slow motion is pretty good it is kind of dim in the photo in the video though because i don't know must just be the camera itself well peace